Good morning, students. I hope you are doing well. In the last day, I have uh, published one uh, workout problem on compression member. I think one of the section has not completed the problem in the class because of uh, some uh, vacations was there. So we'll try to complete, uh, discuss on that handout note. Uh, they have done up to the, how to choose the section. After choosing the section, we have to check the compression capacity of the section. So after choosing the section, we have recorded the uh, sectional property as the area and the least radius of gyration from SP6 page number 10 and 11, I think 10 and 11, yes. Uh, and it was it was found the area is about 22.59 centimeters square that is 2259 millimeters square and the minimum radius of gyration RVV is 1.94 centimeter that is 19.4 millimeter. So nextly to check the to find out the stress reduction factor firstly we have to calculate uh, the lambda E the effective slenderness ratio from code. And you will see here in the code, we will see that here the slenderness ratio for a angle member which is loaded through one leg that is, is connected in a gusset plate like this and it is loaded to, through one leg will have a tendency of lateral torsional buckling and that's why <clears throat> you will see our code has given a special formula for this special case. It is given in page 48 of IS 800 2007 is given as lambda E is equals to whole root over K1 plus K2 into lambda VB square plus K3 into lambda phi square. So our first job is to find out the value of K1, K2, K3 which is given in table 12 in the same page, page 48 and if we can see that it is uh, loaded through one angle concentrically loaded that is axially loaded and is provided with volts which is greater than number two numbers of volts because we have chosen such section uh, the value of k1 k2 k3 is 0 0.7 0 0.6 and 5 now the question may come why uh, two numbers of volts because we have said that not to rely on one single volt so we will go for we will go for uh, two numbers of volts in this present case so here we will see 0 0.7, 0 0.6 and 5 has been chosen and uh, we, have calcul we have to calculate lambda VV. Lambda VV is given in the formula in the same page, L by RVV, epsilon into pi square, epsilon by 250. But there is a mistake. It will be L by RVV, epsilon root over pi square E. Instead of pi square epsilon, it will be pi square E by 250. In the present case, the epsilon value will be 1 because the code has defined epsilon value is equals to 250 by fy uh, whole to the power half. So our case fy is 250 itself so the value of epsilon will be 1 and putting this value in the formula will get the value of lambda vv is equals to 1.16 and the phi val uh, lambda phi value the formula is given as b1 plus b2 divided by 2t into epsilon by pi square e by 250. Here also instead of pi, pi square epsilon it will be pi square E. The value of E is 2 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per millimeter square as it is given in page 12 of IS 800 2007. You will see it is given in page 12 in IS 800 2007. The value of B1 and B2 will be 100 here because we have chosen uh, we have chosen the width of the leg equals to 12, uh, sorry 100 and T is 12 because the thickness is 12. So we will get the value as 0 0.0938. Putting this in the formula we will get the value of lambda is 1.25. Now we will go to page 35 to put the value of lambda and epsilon uh, alpha. Alpha is equals to 0.49 because the buckling class of the section is 0.49 in this case because this uh, buckling class is of C. So we will get the value of phi equals to 1.5385. All the calculations are given. Now we will calculate the value of chi, the stress reduction factor and putting on the formula, the given formula will get it as 0 0.49. Now we will calculate the 
value of FCD where FCD is equals to chi into FI by gamma M0, chi is equals to 0 0.4. 414 fy equals to 250 and gamma uh, gamma m0 equals to 1.1 will get the value of 94.09 and to calculate the pd the stress taking capacity it is equals to pd equals to fcd into ae 94.09 into 2259 the area divided by 1000 to convert it in kilonewton will get the value to 212.54 kilonewton is the capacity which is greater than 120 kilonewton the load coming on the section hence it is safe this is the calculation now we will try to do a problem on um, axially loaded column in the next recording and i'll give you a handout in the next day and next day uh, you'll get it uh, and uh, i'll say that be safe and take care of yourself thank you